And you've co-written 11 top 10 singles, haven't you? Number ones. Is number ones. 11 number ones, yeah. But of course, I think eight of them were with the Spice Girls. Oh, so, right, of course. So did, every, did everyone get a, a, a credit on that then? Yeah. Everyone gets a co-writing credit? To, we used to write together, yeah. Right. I, all and together with so others. So the new stuff you're doing with the Spice Girls, are you all writing that together? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on. She's a highly on, trained <laughs> interviewee. <laughs> come on, get oh, it out. Come on, right. Come on, let's get it over with. I'm what not getting out here, Melanie. What's happening with the Spice Girls? Let's have a look at this. This is the people. It says... Uh, I won't be spoiled sporty. Apparently you're getting a million quid a gig, but you're the one holding out. You're stopping it all happening. Million is this pounds? This is true, you're getting a million pounds a gig. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you get that kind of money. What kind of money do you get, Mel? Um, well, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but you, you'd never get a million pounds a gig because it's so expensive. You can, can you imagine the production? If you were going to do a gig that huge, it costs a fortune to put it on. So what's happening? Is the gig happening? Um, right, this is the complete honest truth from the horse's mouth. Yeah. No. <laughs> um, no, I, you know I'm truthful. Yeah, I'm no, you're okay. Okay. You are now. Yeah. Um, there have been discussions, mm -hmm. but nothing's been agreed at the moment. You've Do you think it will be agreed in the near future? Um, I, I really don't know. It could happen, it may not happen. What don't would be you... the deciding point for you? Sorry. There's, there's a million and one deciding things. A million um, quid a gig's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad is it? But you know what? I really, really like my life the way it is. And, you know, I've got my record out and it's really important for me to, you know, obviously, because it's, it's um, very special to me with it being my own label and, and mm. all those things. You know, I really want to work on that and commit to that record. Mm. Um, and I've always said I don't really want to do it. Mm -hmm. And in my heart of hearts, I'd, I'd rather leave it in the past, really. Um, but if, you know, if the other four girls want to do it, then I, I don't, I don't want to be, you know, the one who stops it being the complete five. Don't want to be Robbie Williams. Yeah. But why don't you just do thing? it just to shut us all up? Yeah. Well, actually, that could be a good I might have to do it because I promised the Kaiser Chiefs I was going to do it. Oh, did you? Yeah, because they oh, well, want me to important. do it, so I said I'd do it for them. Oh, OK. Yeah. All right. And when, when you were out on tour, was it all, all the money and everything was split five ways? There was no one got more? Oh, and... yeah, it was completely... Yeah, everyone got exactly So the some of them have spent their money more wisely than the others, yeah, out well, of the so five of you. Well, some of them have gone on to make a lot more money. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but some of maybe need a few quid. Um, I don't know. You I don't, don't know. Everybody's, you know... They must be different. So different situation. people must be more desperate to get this thing back then. Um, I don't think it's. I don't think anybody's desperate, mm. to be honest with you. Um, I think you know some people have always been up for it, mm. and others are a bit nervous about it. So you know. And has the dynamics between the five of you changed? You think as you've all grown up and have got families and yeah, obviously slightly. I mean, everybody fundamentally is the same. You know, mm. everyone has the same personality, and the chemistry is still there when we get together. Right. That's quite exciting. When we get together for social occasions, it's quite mm. exciting. Okay. Um, but everyone's mellowed, especially you know with having kids and stuff. And if you if you did get back together again, would you like to do new material as well? No. Just do the... Absolutely not. I, I absolutely don't want to do new material um, because I, I just I think that time has passed. I think it's, if if we're going to do it, if it's going to be done, it should be for nostalgia, okay. right. and it should be all the old stuff. Everyone have a great time. Put it to bed. Finish it, and then everyone stop asking me about it. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, wrote, who wrote the line zig zig R? Oh, that was just some stupid thing we were saying at the time. Oh, was that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, anything I haven't covered there, you can uh, <laughs> ask Mel in email. She'll be taking emails along with Charlie Clements, uh, Bradley from EastEnders, if you want to ask them anything, anything at all. So this email via the BBC website, bbc.co.uk forward slash food. Now, it's time for our competition Deja Vu, and it's a right royal treat this morning. Up for grabs are two exclusive VIP passes to Royal Ascot. It's a staple of the summer season, and as British as strawberries and cream, our fantastic prize that includes good, Royal Enclosure Day badges with a meal at one of the top Ascot restaurants. You'll be able to dine in and take panoramic views of all the horse racing action, and the tickets are for Saturday the 23rd of June. Do you do the season, Amanda? <laughs> No, do, I've do never been invited season? either. The season. The season. What the horse racing? Yeah. No, it's no, it's not. It's the seasons of where all posh people. I think people, all the ladies do... float about and go to all the events. No, no, no. Obviously they do not. polo. I don't know what you're they do polo, <laughs> and they do Henley uh, Regatta. And I've been do... to Henley Regatta. I was I was sculling at the, one of the regattas. Were you? Yeah. Did you win? No, 
I came in last, actually. Okay. Anyway, it's been with a chance of winning this <laughs> fantastic competition. Just guess which year this particular episode of classic British comedy was first broadcast. It's Victoria Wood.